Janice, and I'm glad to be here. Uh, yes, I'm Irish, and I'm in an independent MEP who represents nearly a million people. And for that reason, I really have to speak for them and to them first. For it was in Ireland and Greece that the unmasking of at least some parts of the EU occurred. Two governments were bullied into acting, acting against the mandate and the interests of their own people, and in some way they allowed it. First came the Lisbon Treaty. The Irish people voted against it the first time. This didn't suit the powers in Europe. So Lisbon rose from its grave and lumbered into another referendum, and things went downhill from there. More threats from three institutions and the influence of the US, and that's important, forced us into a bailout and prevented the burning of bondholders. And Greece. Let us not forget that only a short while ago, a Greek, pri Greek prime minister was subject to what was described as extensive psychological waterboarding, which is another form of torture, locked in a room with his finance minister and the Eurogroup. This was widely colluded with by every member of that group. An MOU was signed under duress and is, of course, failing because of insane economics and inhuman politics. It doesn't matter that there are mixed views of Mr. Tsipras. None of this should have happened. We must not forget what this means. We must not become accepting of it. This is not democracy. It is coercion and the abuse of power. It is not what the EU should be. There are, all, after all, many good things in the EU and in the Lisbon Treaty, among them the Charter of Fundamental Rights. But we have allowed that to be violated by the actions of Troikas, and we can stop this happening again. So how is DM to engage with such a system? Do we need power and what kind? At some point, should DM run candidates in elections? In Ireland, in the, there is a grassroots movement called the Right to Change, two of whom are here. They have over 90 candidates running in our imminent election. We, of course, have a unique election system that allows this to happen and allows independent MEPs like myself to exist. These are some of the questions that need an answer from all of us. DM could be the beginning of something good, but to do that, it must reach the millions of citizens outside these walls, living lives of desperation. If we do not, these people will turn to others whose ideas have no connection to democracy, the opposite of DM. This has happened before. So what if we are utopian? Doing nothing is not an option. Thank you.